This week on the Two Minute Tuesday Taste Test, we're gonna be trying what the smoke flavor's like off of the Ryder DLX 900. It's a Two Minute Tuesday Taste Test. All right, so if you watched last week's video, you saw that I cooked pork butt and we compared Goldie's AP rub versus the Goldie's brisket rub right on a pork butt, split it right down the middle, and they were incredible. Go check out that video if you haven't seen it. What? I'm not feeding you this. Stinking cats. You're not gonna get this. You stay down there too. Don't jump up on that smoker. Don't try to get that meat. Anyways, this is that pork butt that we smoked in last week's video. This week we're just trying to see what the smoke flavor is like on this smoker. So, here we go. I'm gonna do one more bite. That was the uh, brisket rub from Goldie's. Let me take a bite of the AP rub from Goldie's just to see if there's any difference there in that smoke flavor. You can't tell any difference when it comes to the bark at all that is come on focus and there's no difference in the bark from the ap to the brisket rub it came out exactly the same looks identical let's see if the smoke is the same okay that's what i was thinking so the smoke flavor you know i'm used to in fact i have not smoked on a pellet smoker in one year check out the barbecue covered finger in one year, I have not smoked on a pellet smoker. I've been strictly doing drum smokes and offset smokes, and the smoke flavor from those is definitely more pronounced. This is a lighter smoke flavor. What some people, a lot of people actually prefer, they don't like punchy in the face smoke, which <clears throat> you're not gonna get that punchy in the face smoke unless you like make it really dirty on your offset or drum. As long as you're running clean, you're gonna have that good, nice, tasty smoke flavor. But some people like a more mild smoke flavor, and that's exactly what this pellet smoker can do. Now, what I'm noticing is on the brisket rub, it has, you know, some more coarse salts and peppers in there than the AP rub. And I believe that that clinged to the smoke flavor a little more. The smoke flavor cling to it just a little more than it did to the AP rub. The Ryder DLX 900 did a crazy good job on this pork butt. And I think I figured out the secret to getting as much smoke flavor on that pork butt as we possibly could while maintaining a nice juicy pork butt. So if you wanna see that method, I'm gonna be shooting a video on that method here in the next week and then I'm gonna post it next week and it is going to be a really cool video it's a really cool way of smoking on your pellet smoker something that most people tell you not to do on your pellet smoker they say to not do this when you cook on it so if you want to know what not to do from everybody else but what I believe and what I've seen a few others talk about to get some really good smoke flavor on this go ahead if you haven't, like this video if you liked it. Give it that thumbs up and subscribe so that way you don't miss out on this awesome video coming up. Thanks for watching. Now get outside and make some crazy good barbecue. So what we got here is over here from this half over, that is the AP rub. From this half over, that is the brisket rub.